Hi everyone, welcome to Educers, a complete solution for the institution. Myself Sandhya and I am here to explain you about the preschool management software. This is our Educers login page and here we are providing 5 types of login. Super admin login, admin login, staff login, student login and parent login. I will be showing you the director login. We will just enter the login credentials and we will just enter. We will just enter it. One, two, three. After we log in, our reducers interface will be in this way. When we do preschool setup, your institution name and logo will display here. When you do academic setup, the current academic here will display here. We are also capturing all the Google languages here. Whichever language is comfortable to you, you can select that language and you can see application in that language. We are also capturing some special features like to do. To do is nothing but whatever the daily routine works you do, those you can add here one by one and you can change the status also into completed after you finish the work and you can even sort it out the pending works also. Polling master. Management can raise any type of poll questions to us like to the staff members and parents and when we give answers to them that they can see in a graphical way like this. Mails. We are capturing internal and external mails. Both internal mails are for within the employees within the application and external mails you can manage the external mails to the outsiders like parents and any outside employee. Help. You, if you are unable to go to any of the module or if you want to know about the, any of the module, you can just type about that module and if you want to redirect, you can just click on this. It will redirect also. We have explained about that screen also. You can easily access with this help. Campus links. Management, if management wants to share any kind of links with us, those will be displayed in our logins in a dashboard like this. We can just click on that and we can easily redirect to that link. These all are the staff profiles you can see in a dashboard. These all are the student profiles you can see in a dashboard. And this is your profile you can log in and log out here. And here we, we have all the branches. When you do branch setup, all the branches will display. You can easily click on that and you can redirect to the branch. No need to just enter the credentials and log in. You can just switch the branches also. I'm going to the main modules. The first module is home. In home, we have dashboard. Dashboard is nothing but whatever data you will be entering in the modules that you can see in a pictorial representation like this. And the second module is statistics. Statistics is nothing but branch wise. You can capture the user summary here and here vehicle summary. You can capture toppers of the preschool from rank first rank to 10th rank. You can sort it out and you can see. You can just, just select the branches like this, visitor summary. You can see the visitors of our school like this. Month wise, you can sort it out the visitors of the preschool. Next is like whoever is visiting, whoever you can sort it out. Teaching plan is given by the faculties. You can sort it out branch wise and you can just select the and you can select what are the teaching plan given by the faculties. Next is Preschool setup. So institution registration. This is done by backend from us. If any changes are there, if you want to do any editing, that you can do it. You can just click on edit button and you can edit it. You can upload the logo also here. Franchisee registration is nothing but all your branches. You can add one by one your branches and you can save it. After you save, you can check it out your branch details like this. Next is user registration. In user registration, first is admission screen. So in this screen, you can do the admissions. You can enter your new student details and you can save it. After you save, all the students will reflect in the left side. You just click on one student. You can see what are the data you have given for that student. Bulk input students. We are, all, we are providing some sample Excel sheet here. If you can manage the data in that sheet, you can easily upload the sheet and you can see the data as usually how you have entered. Admin registration. Here you will be adding your principal details, all the details of the principal qualification experience details. And here like this, the data will display after you save. Assign franchisee admin. If you want to assign one principal to another branch, then you can easily select the branch, select the name of the principal and you can just save it. He will reflect in that branch. And next module is academic setup. You know to, to run any of the software to use it, you need to set up your academic here. You will just select here, you will enter all the details of your academic and you will save. After you save, data will display here. Activity names. What are the activities you teach in the preschool? Those activity names you will add. And if you want, that activity should be displayed in the 
time table you can just checklist and it will automatically display you can also import through excel sheet also which we provide section management you can manage n number of sections here you you might be having so many sections in the preschool so just click on plus button and add the name of the section and you can easily assign the sections now you will allow the students into the sections so whatever sections we have created now you will allow the students here you will can select all the students in one shot and individually also you can select the students and you can just save it teacher to activity in teacher to activity we predefinedly we will be assigning the faculties their subjects we'll select like this and we will allow the faculties just click on plus button you will select class section activity type activity name what is the primary teacher and secondary teacher and should save it preschool calendar so you can manage your total calendar here you just click on any of the date the form will come like this you will select all the branches here and all the curriculum program groups and what holiday or event anything and name of the organizer you will type the description and you save after you save you can select here and you can see like this the calendar will display okay yeah the next is timetable configuration you can configure your timetable here like you know all preschool timetable configuration you can do here you'll just select like this yeah you'll just select like this uh, preschool and class wise you can configure your timetable so these all we are providing in the academic setup these you can edit it just click on edit button what is the prayer or sports or period duration everything generate timetable you click and it will get generated the timetable generated one you can see in the screen so like this the timetable gets generated you can add if any changes are there you can clone the timetable here weekly monthly yearly also you can input through excel sheet also you can see activity wise and subject wise also everything you can see here you can switch the faculties also like this if you want to switch it okay the final timetable which will be displayed to the students and parents here you will select like this you will select section here so whatever timetable you have configured that you can see here the final one so you can see activity timetable both also here i'm going to the next module next module is annual checks so any any kind of uh, uh, academic related marks you want to give gradings you want to give so those you can edit it and you can give here just click on edit button and you can edit it and you can give it like this b4 5 this like that and you can save it you can promote here you can notify parents marks and date sheet everything here annual checks few things remain same every year like our campus calendar subjects syllabus question papers uh, child promotions these all you no need to do every year you can just click on the generate button and these all will generate for next year also student promotions for you can promote the students for next classes also like this you will select all the students here you will move to which class and just move after you move all the students will display here you will select the students and you save all the students will be saving the next module is preschool master in preschool master first is application in this first is all uh, application documents so whatever the document types are there those you can configure here one time wherever in the application document type is there all whatever you configured you will get in a drop down like all your classes like this so distal diary i'll tell you what is distal diary distal diary is nothing but the faculties will take uh, class wise attendance so today at what time they have started the classes what is the subject and what they have taught what activity done in the class what homework what assignment they gave that we will be sending mail to the parent so at what time that mail has to go that time you will configure here and no need to send daily it will it will go at that time daily same attendance also whenever you keep the time after taking attendance daily at that time attendance also will go through message to the parents screen defaults you can also manage your screen defaults for it in admission screen from here landing page what you want in the landing place dashboards or home page that you can capture uh, you can just select here 
when uh, if you want in any screen instead of admission number roll number or instead of roll number admission number you can just select here fee templates also you can manage here and special fee special features are there right so these special features uh, if you don't want to give to any of the parent or staff or student you can control here whatever you will control those only will reflect in their logins departments and designations you can manage the departments here please just click on plus button you can add the departments you can add sub departments you can map the departments also so i'm going to the next module preschool configurations in preschool configuration first is load data we are providing excel sheets for all these modules you can just all these uh, screens you can just click on this and we are providing some excel sample sheet here you can easily upload it if you can manage the data in whatever sample sheet we are providing guest view we are also providing one free website if you want to use that web website you can use it all you can do is you can add all your website related things from the application itself you can add the gallery items about yourself about your faculties admission everything and social media news also you can control in this screen id cards we are here providing five types of templates if you want to use these templates you can use it no if you have your own template you can upload your own template also and then smart management smart card management is like here you will generate the smart card you select the students here and just click on id card generating it will get generated in the pdf so i'm going to the next module next module is admin module admin module is for the principal so what are the donations he has given to us that we can capture here expenses if he is claiming any expenses that we can capture here salary his salary total month wise you can see here how the notification has to send to the principal that you will capture here preschool activity what are the documents shared by him that you can see what are the task assigned to him that you can see here and personal details of the principal achievements experience family details leave summary profile qualifications appraisals those you can see and his total attendance month wise you can see here user management first is staff management so this is the screen where you will add your existing and new staff just click on plus button and you will enter the details of the staff and you will just save it after you save all the staff will reflect in the left side so just click on one staff you can see his family details you can add here assigned assets you can add here professional information uh, program fee if, if, if anything we are collecting salary and performance behavior certificates whatever certificates we gave offer letters medical condition if, if she she, she has any medical problem physical immunization discipline and transfers you can do here transportation if she using the transportation paste slip the her place slip you can see here teaching details that provided by her everything you can see here workload teaching workload also you can see here next is child management so this is the screen where you can add all the student details student family details you can capture here credentials you can capture capture here behavior you can capture here certificates you can capture fee you can capture medical you can capture discipline and transfers transportation everything you can capture here attendance also you can see in a pictorial representation job and placements as i said you uh, we have a free website so you, whatever job openings you have if you place here that will reflect in the website and whoever is approaching in the website those data you can see here past users whomever you have suspended and if you activate here then only the the person can log into the application if it is a child or a stu, uh, staff alumni users if anyone ex student is trying to approach us in the website so those details you can see here role authorization so you can control the modules and screens to whomever you want to give the modules and screens those you can control here read read only and written write option means you can give this control also whether the template can read only that module or re, he can view or he can edit it also okay and custom user authorization is individually employee wise also you can control the screens like this so for this particular employee what are the screens and modules you are giving so dashboard dashboard uh, dashboards also you can control like what are the pictorial representation i have shown you so to whomever you want to give those dashboards you can control here individually employee wise also dashboards you can control in this in this screen child attendance so you can month wise take the attendance so we are capturing five types of attendance here so manually also you can take the attendance through excel sheet also you can upload the attendance through biometric also integration is there 
RFID integration is also there. Faculties can take attendance through mobile app also. Here period activity, as I told you, when they have started the class and ended, what was they, what they taught in the class, whether it has finished or pending, what activity, what homework they have given, everything they will capture here. Attendance history, they can see here, total attendance history of the student. Child activity, so parents can track the child, uh, child activity also here, user tracker, so you can, uh, parents can track the users also in this screen. So you staff, you can track the staff and you can track the students also here. And the next screen is HR management. In HR management, first is leave management. So whatever the re, uh, leave rules you have, those you will be adding here. CLs, years, inactive and active, everything you can see. Leave management is whoever staff member is applying for the leave, those will come here and you can just click on edit button and you will see the leave count of the staff and if you want to approve you can approve if you want to reject you can reject if you want to call them to the cabin you can call them next is staff attendance so like this you can capture the staff attendance manually also through excel sheet also you can upload biometric integration is also there rfid integration is also trade faculties can give attendance from mobile apps also attendance history you can see the attendance history of the student uh, staff here department wise also staff payroll so this is staff payroll so here you can month wise see the staff payroll of the staff salary configurations also you can do in this screen you can add the pay component salary dates uh, taxes earnings detentions everything pay slip details you can see the pay slip details also here name of the staff total earnings detections net salary you can view the pay slip you can calculate generate when you will release then only it will reflect in their particular logins Generated, not generated also you can see. One and one meeting. You can also schedule one and one meeting to the employees also here. Next, accounts management. In accounts management, we are also having payment gateway. If you are tied up with any of the pay you online payments, we will integrate that. So you will just add your account details over here and you will save it. Journal entry. All your debit, credits, payments of the preschool you can capture here. You will select month wise and you can capture all your debits and credits, how much amount received, how much amount went out, everything. You can uh, sort it out by cash, account types also, transaction from account and to account, debit and credit also. And tax configurations also you can do it. Whatever taxes we have for different, different states, everything you can configure here. Fee management. So in fee management, you might be having different, different fee, right? So you will just add your fee fee types just edit it and you can give your own fee types here same like special fee also you can just click on plus button and you can give your own fee type same as waiver so whatever waivers you usually give to the students those waiver types you can add here and you can save it next is fee structure so you can generate the fee structure just unlock it and whatever fee uh, terms you want to give two terms you want to give right so those two terms you will save here and whatever the amount is there 2000 and you can just save it and you can if, if you and if everything is done you click on generate it will get generated and you can just generate sure yes so it will reflect in the next screen so whatever fee we have configured that you can see in the screen like this So here term wise you can see the fee whatever we have generated fee receivables so fee receivables you can see term wise fee receivables here whatever payments outstanding spendings we have to receive those you can see here paid pending outstanding waiver how many we gave everything we can see here special fee management so special fee management is whatever the special fee we capture those things you can add here fee adjustments fee adjustments you can do in this screen any fee any kind of fee adjustments you can do here project ledger so like if we have a franchiser franchisees and franchise from the franchiser only we need to take some items or those so if we receive any amount from the franchisee those details you can see here scholarship configuration you can do from this screen miscellaneous transaction like pt cash like whatever the amount we give to the accounts department so how they have used that amount those details they will enter in this screen Wallet transaction, this wallet transaction is for the staff members and students both. 
and they can add the amount they can transfer the amount and all expenses management whatever expenses if they are going out on the preschool purpose and if they are claiming any expenses if you want to approve the amount you can approve here if any donations we are receiving from the staff or the parent that we can see here any training we are charging amount for any cricket or any sports uh, campaigning or something that you can charge here salary if anyone is asking advanced salary those things you can capture here waiver approval if any any student is asking for the waiver if the parent asking so we need to get an approval from the management then only we can approve it preschool operations notification scheduler so we we are capturing uh, four types of notifications you can send sms you can send push notification you can send email internal and external both so you just select here today and uh, and select here sms and select the staff here and department here username you will get here and just notify so you can easily notify them like this report schedule you can also schedule reports also like whatever dissolve reports you can schedule and it will reflect in the logins preschool info so polling questions uh, as i told you in the dashboard right the polling questions you can generate here and it will reflect in the dashboard rating parents will rate us uh, in the screen so whatever ratings they want to give they will give according to the rating characteristics preschool links so you can share any kind of links if you want to share that will reflect in the dashboards document sharing you can share the documents here you will just click on this plus button and you will give the name of the group and icon and document sharing so in this screen you will just click on that document multiple franchisee sharing like you will give from which date to which date this document has to display and whether you want to give read only and read and write option and select to whichever branches you will move and these branches in these branches to whom you want to share it you will select all the staff members will come and you will select the staff and you will share and it will share to the those only to whomever you have selected the next module is document sharing is done next module is food programming so if you have any canteen in uh, in the preschool or if you provide food to the students so what is the food menu pricing you can capture here menu for menu details you can capture here food statistics you can capture here how many staff and students regularly have it and total food program users and user activity also you can capture here inventory management so whatever the inventory items you view, you have in the preschool those you will add here and vendor list you can add here and miscellaneous inventory items you can add here like canteens stationery all the things and franchisee franchiser product items franchiser will add the products whatever he wants to display to the franchises here and franchiser inventory items if you want to purchase any items that he will purchase franchiser and uh, franchisee product details so franchisee will order in this screen and it will reflect to the franchisers and the next is miscellaneous operations any type of task you want to give to the faculties that you can give in the screen and it will reflect in their logins asset management whatever assets you want to assign to the staff members that you can assign here parent teacher meeting can be scheduled in the screen user support complaints and request can be done in the screen like whatever complaints and requests are there ticket management ticket management is for us you can uh, raise any kind of tickets complaints to us and we will resolve it immediately and com raise complaint is the staff or the parent if they have any kind of issue or they want to give us any suggestion that they will give to you and you will raise us visitor management so some some items we uh, we order from outside like any inventory item so what is the unit receiver name item name quantity quality sender amount attachment you can attach and you can save it visitor management you can add the visitors of our preschool here and after you save the visitor pass will generate enquiry management whatever enquiries we get through calls or anything those things you can add here and you can save it and the next module is academics so in the academic syllabus you can manage the syllabus of the preschool here you will select all the details and you can manage the syllabus teaching plan will be given by the faculties according to the subject and all you can upload through excel sheet also teaching plan
next is library so library management in library management first you will configure what are the items you are capturing in the library you'll just uh, whether items like books cds dvds everything a maximum allowed and days allowed fine everything and next is inventory so what are the materials we have publishers and authors available not available all you can import through excel sheet also here how many damaged and how many new we purchased barcodes also we are providing you can just tick the barcodes on books next is library activity so you can uh, issue the library books to the staff here you will select the staff you will select one staff here and whatever the books we are available those will display here and according to that you can issue the books and returns you can and you can see what are the books has been returned and transaction is till now how many staff members have paid the late fee for the library next is transportation so you can manage the transportation here route management route management is like you can manage the route whatever routes you have you can give route points here like this you can add the route users also in the screen you can add route logos also here you can monitor the route also and vehicle activity so vehicle activity you will add your vehicle details here what is the vehicle we have what is the helper and who is the driver and everything and daily uh, trip readiness so whether in the morning the driver is present or not the helper is present or not you will checklist and you can save here and transportation dashboard you can you can watch the buses in a dashboard all your routes no matter you have a number of routes you can monitor in one shot vehicle management so your vehicle details you will be managing here insurance details you will be adding here maintenance details you will be adding here fuel expenses you will add here damage how many times the bus got damaged those things you can add here activity history not only the current students you can also add the previous student details like user registrations and fee details you can add here journal entry you can add here final marks you can add here even you can upload through excel sheets also the final lead management system so as i told you if you are getting any kind of lead through call or direct walk in those things you can add here and you can save it and next dashboard you can see in a dashboard all your enquiries all your uh, all your leads data everything here in a dashboard lead history so lead history to whomever you have assigned that lead what happened to that lead whether how many times that lead has been followed everything you can capture here hot leads you can also capture hot leads here whatever hot leads we have two days hot leads last seven days last 15 days everything daily leads also you can check it out daily how many leads we are getting month wise also you can check it out inactive leads whatever leads we keep in inactive like not interested and last modified date also you can capture it no last but not the least report module so in the report module we are capturing all these reports you just click on the report and you can download it in pdf and excel both report templates you can also have the dynamic report like whatever columns you want you can add it or whatever uh, new report uh, you can add it and templates also we are providing everything you can dynamic reports also you can just have it here thank you for viewing our demo version. Thank you so much.